How's it going everyone? My name is The Starks and welcome to a brand new The Last of Us Part 2 video. Today, we're going to be discussing the Metacritic score on The Last of Us Part 2, which has been deemed a must play on Metacritic with a score, a current score, of 96%. Now, I know, that is just absolutely crazy. Um, first off, I'm, I'm, I, I want to say congratulations to the entire Naughty Dog team. Um, because I think it was definitely worth it. Um, you know, Naughty Dog has had, specifically for The Last of Us Part Two, a huge, like, uh, turbulence when it came to development. And it's been unfortunate for their team. But I think, at the end of the day, it has all paid off. Um, a 96% is phenomenal. I think that's great. I actually, I think it's one of the highest PlayStation 4 rated exclusive games right now uh you know beating god of war beating uncharted 4 beating horizon zero dawn beating spider-man okay beating the last of us which i think has either 94 or 95 percent but that doesn't matter because we're going to be talking about the last of us part 2 and the current 96 percent metacritic score that it has with 89 critic reviews um they have a total of 86 positive with three mixed reviews and zero negative reviews the Last of Us Part Two has over twenty, over twenty, a hundred percent across um, several different uh, publications. They have a few nineties, a few eighties, and a few like like two or three, or officially three seventies uh, because they do have three mixed reviews, um, which is just crazy. I mean, this Naughty Dog is. A very highly respected studio and although there's been things thrown at the company regarding this quote-unquote social justice warrior tendency that they do not have um, I think that this game is clearly groundbreaking to a lot of those critics who played it and there's been a lot of like controversy in general regard not only the game but just the reviews as well people accusing Sony of paying developer or pardon me um, critics and people journalists to play it and review it very well which i think is a little ridiculous although i mean uh, people do that all the time i mean it does seem a little ridiculous um, because there are negative reviews there are people specifically on youtube who don't really enjoy the game specifically skill up who i haven't re uh, watched his review on the last of us part two but he clearly did not like the game for whatever his own reasons um but i think it's really important to people to recognize that video games is hugely subjective. Saying that, well, Sony paid these people to play this and yada yada yada, does it's not it it has no like value to that. That argument has no value because games are subjective, and I don't think people are going, regardless of the quote unquote money that they might have received by Sony, which I don't think is is a thing. Like no one's gonna lie about their enjoyment of a game. I I've never lied about the enjoyment of a movie when I'm reviewing it. I've never lied about the enjoyment of a game when I've reviewed it. I try to keep very objective, and by objective I don't mean objective in the sense that I I try to review a game objectively because I think it's nearly impossible to review a game ob objectively because there are many aspects to a video game that is subjective. Um, you're t and, and because it's a it's a form of media, it's a form of art, and art is subjective entertainment is subjective right there are you know you could take a critical analysis of a video game or a show or a movie or a book or a piece of art literature um, or storytelling and you can criticize it because of your enjoyment of it but that is still very objective and i know people try and say well you know there's quote unquote bugs or you know graphics don't look great but graphics not looking great to you doesn't mean that it didn't to somebody else which is why video games is hugely subjective and regardless of that subjectivity i'm incredibly honored to be a fan of naughty dog and the work that they do because clearly they have a top tier system clearly they have a top tier uh, studio that works towards this perfection and some may argue, at what cost, right? We've seen Jason Schreier. We've seen um, the Kotaku article um, addressing this crunch, this overworking uh, of employees. And people will always ask, well, wh at what cost, right? And I understand that, 
you know, crunch is a huge process when it comes to developing and and, and uh, a project of any sort, whether it's a film, a book, a, a movie, or, or I already said it a movie but you get the point any anything any project that you're working on hell it could be um a a uh homework in in some sense right like doing research it everything has crunch in some form and you know a lot of people might ask well at the end of the day at what cost and i i don't i don't like that because it kind of excuses the the current 96 metacritic score listen this is a phenomenal score like we should be celebrating, um, we should be honoring the 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 devotion and craft and passion that went into making this game. It's currently a must play by Metacritic, like I said a few minutes ago, and I'm incredibly excited to play this game. I'm incredibly excited. It comes out this Friday, and nothing can describe my excitement for this game. Right? I'm 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 really looking forward to it, and I hope that Naughty Dog. Um, or at least when I play it, that I that I really appreciate the work that Naughty Dog has put into this game, and I think I will. I, like I, I try and keep very objective, although uh, you know that that can be hard, especially if there's certain politics in it, which I've heard there might be. But um, I haven't seen the full length of the spoilers, and I hope that you don't go out of your way to put any in the in the comment section below because I'm not going to read it. Um, <laughs> so like point wasted. Um, so when it comes to The Last of Us Part 2, I'm going to try and keep objective in the sense that I'm going to look at the game in a critical analysis. I'm going to I'm gonna review the game, or I'm going to try to review it, whether informal or formal. I'm also hopefully going to do a spoiler cast for the game, talking about things that I liked and didn't like. And, and overall, just talk about the game, understand its themes, understand the analogies, understand everything involved in this, well, clear masterpiece to the critics. And again... Games are subjective. Nobody is saying that they're objective, but I'm gonna look at the things that made it good, in my opinion, of, of like, the the how Naughty Dog handled animation or lighting, all those different things, um, to to really make The Last of Us Part Two stand out among one of the greatest PlayStation Four titles to come out this generation. Um, so I'm I'm ex I, like, I'm hugely excited, and I hope you are too. Of course, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're celebrating this this uh, this score um, as a fan. It's it, be proud to be a fan. Be proud to be a consumer of the works and, and that many people have d uh, you know came together to collectively make uh, this game as well as obviously the previous games from Naughty Dog. And of course, that's today's video for today. Um, thank you a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like uh, the video and share it amongst your friends and family and everyone else you deem worthy of watching this. Um, of course, subscribe if you're new to my channel. And with that being said, thank you for watching. I've been the Starks. Peace.